This is Julian, and in this video, I'm going to reveal how every single one of us, you and me, are trapped with indifferent belief cycles, some which move us up and empower us, but unfortunately for the most of us, due to the way that we've been conditioned, the majority of them move us down. And until you become aware of how these belief cycles actually work, and there are five steps to these cycles that I'm going to be breaking down for you in this video, and more importantly, how to break free from these negative, defeating, limiting belief cycles, then it's simply going to be very hard for you to transform and get any kind of result. If you're someone who is just trapped, you just feel stuck no matter what you do, whether that's stuck in non-action or stuck in action that is not giving you the results you know you deserve, then the answer lies within these belief cycles. So here are the five steps. This is how it works, okay? You have a belief. And this could be an empowering belief or a disempowering belief. From there, okay, and I'm gonna be breaking it down and giving some examples, don't worry. From there, this belief will control your RAS, your reticular activating system, your selective focus, if you will, and it's going to control what you see. Okay, you don't see the world as it is. You can think of it as there's this lens, that's the belief, and you see reality through that. Okay, and not just that, but Step three, it's also going to affect your physiology, how you feel, your micro behaviors. And that there is going to create self-fulfilling prophecies. You're actually going to manifest results that are aligned with that belief. And from there, you're going to get a reference experience that, guess what, reinforces the belief, and that is the cycle, okay? Belief, focus, your RAS, which then affects also your physiology, which creates a self-fulfilling prophecy, which creates a reference that reinforces that belief and that is the cycle, okay? So let's take the example of someone who has very low self-esteem. They have that belief where I'm not good enough. And you can try this for yourself here. If you take a piece of paper or a virtual notepad and you just write down the words that come up when you think about yourself, right? You, I am, what words come up? And don't give me the right answer here, like, well, I'm pretty awesome. Like, be very honest, very raw. I am, what words come up? For example, I am weak, that might be one. I am pathetic, that might be another one. I am not good enough, right? I am not confident, I am scared, I am shy. Whatever comes up, that's fine, don't judge yourself. But step one is being aware of these beliefs that run you, okay? Let's take the example of I'm not good enough. Now, from there, what's that going to do? As I mentioned, there's now the lens. It hijacks your focus. And this is important to understand, okay? Your RAS, as I mentioned, your reticular activating system. Think of reality. You can look around you right now. There's a lot of information, right? There's so much data, it's just too much to take in. So we have this thing called an RAS, which filters this information and allows you to lock in on what has value to you. So for example, if you close your eyes, and I ask you, what's red around you? If you open your eyes right now, you're gonna start seeing red, 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 red. That's what your RAS is starting to pick up on. Okay, so whatever has value or whatever is congruent to beliefs that you have. Okay, so that belief, I'm not good enough, hijacks your focus. That's what you see. And you're gonna start tuning into evidence that reinforces it. You're gonna filter the world through that. It's well, what does the world look like for someone who isn't good enough, okay? It's also going to affect once more, this is step three, your physiology. So say you want to go meet someone, you wanna go say hi to someone. Instead of going up and just feeling very free, right? You're very present, you're at ease, you're flowing, you can express yourself, you feel comfortable, you don't run out of things to say, you just flow and it's nice and hey, how's it going? Instead of that, it's gonna hijack it. And you can try to, to focus, right? To like force this and be like, I'm just gonna focus on the micro behaviors, but no, no, no. It's gonna hijack that physiology and people will tell that something's a little bit off. Instead of, hey, how's it going? It's, hey, um, how's it going? A little bit off. Now guess what? Because of that, what's going to happen, you're going to manifest or generate, if you will, a response that might be along the lines of, oh, you know what, something's a little bit off. No, thank you, gone. And, okay, that's the self-fulfilling prophecy. From there, that reference experience, what's it going to do? Oh, I knew it. They reacted that way because uh, I'm not good enough. And the belief is stronger, 
which hijacks your focus even more and it's just self-reinforcing and it keeps amplifying and amplifying and some of these beliefs have been running you and been amplifying for your entire life that the pull is just so strong and this here is why you can get sometimes amazing results amazing references but nothing really changes because here's the other catch even if you hypothetically get an amazing reference say you go up and you're like oh my core behaviors are off and someone's like oh hey nice to meet you you're not even gonna see it your focus your ris is going to block it out and still look for evidence that is aligned with that belief or you'll come up with excuses oh well they did like me but it's because of xyz okay there's a client i worked with many years ago this is a decade ago actually in amsterdam and we went out and we were socializing and had a great time. And it was at the end of the night, we were talking about how great time we had. And uh, he was like, what are you guys talking about having a great time? Everyone hated me, no one wanted to talk to me. And we were all just baffled, like, is he, is he joking? What, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, no one liked me. And this person, the entire night, people were loving him, smiling at him, just having a blast with him. And we're like, what are, what are you talking about? Okay, hijacked his focus and he would block it off to the point where we had to go out and start taking pictures, right, of people smiling and showing him the pictures. And he would see the pictures and it just still ugh, wouldn't lock in. He's like, I don't know. I guess they're smiling because because the camera was there. They were smiling at the camera, not me, right? The excuse is because that belief once more just has the hold over it all. Okay, this is a belief cycle. Now on the flip side, you could have that original belief of I am good enough, I'm whole, right? I'm great. The world is on my side. Everything's good. Everything's peachy. And what's going to happen there? That hijacks your focus. You start filtering things through that. It affects your physiology. Instead of uh, being nervous, twitching, little micro behaviors being a little off, nervous laughter, trying a little too hard. Uh, it's a very grounded, fun, purposeful energy. And what's going to happen there? A self-fulfilling prophecy. When you go say hi to someone instead of Oh, here's someone, what are they gonna think of me? Not good enough me, it's, oh, here's someone who's gonna love meeting me. Nice to meet you. And you're going to have a positive reference that reinforces that belief that you are good enough. And instead of moving down, you're going to be moving up. Okay, this is how it works. And with reference experiences, this is key. Okay, there is no such thing as a negative reference. It's just an experience. It's only negative if you interpret it that way. It could also be positive for someone else who has that exact same experience. And this is the key to moving up and crushing it in life. And also the key to really stop caring what people think of you or letting, for example, social rejection affect you, right? It's not about, hey, nice to meet you. And they're like, eh, no, thank you. And then just being crushed or trying to convince yourself, well, it's not that bad. If you have that original belief, I'm good enough, things are great, just like someone with that negative belief will block off positive references or find an excuse like, oh, I told you, it's still, it's just poor, pathetic me. Someone with a positive belief will actually not even be affected or even see it, and they're going to keep riding that upward spiral. Okay, so understanding this, those are how belief cycles work, and we have many of these in all areas of life. From there, you can understand the key is to start with that original belief. And this is why letting go is so key. That is how you change those beliefs directly. You can't change them with the reference because that comes later. You got to start with the belief, okay? Letting go, healing past trauma, letting go of all those negative internal programmings, that is the way out, okay? It's working on those beliefs directly while simultaneously, okay, you can double team the belief with letting go and surrounding yourself with people who have the belief that you ultimately want to cultivate. If you surround yourself with people who do believe, I am good enough, then that will slowly start rubbing off on you and the cycle will change, okay? Once more, you're either moving down or you're moving up through those five steps, okay? Belief, focus, physiology, self-fulfilling prophecy, reference experience, and by changing the belief, everything else changes. Now, if you'd like me to help you with this and teach you exactly how to let go, definitely apply to join my private mentoring group where I teach you everything about this. I take you by the hand and take you through the entire process and just watch how fast things will change. Start with the belief and the ripple effect will blow you away. I hope 
this clicked. I hope this woke you up and opened your eyes. And as always, until next time. Like this program is such a game changer. The way everything's structured and the material, it's been already even for me, it's just been, I'm noticing a crazy change in, in the way that my whole life's like playing out. What you put together is just incredible. There's nothing like that. I've just jumped like a million levels. It's just been a complete 180 for my experience of existing. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just been so huge in terms of so many of the things I'm finally understanding and realizing and epiphanies I'm having. What you do is a huge inspiration to me and I think it's one of the most beautiful things you can give to another human in this entire world. You saved my life, man. I'm telling you, that's, this is real, man. Sometimes all it takes is just one person who believes in you. Find people who are where you are in life and model them, work with them. I would not be here if I didn't have people who held me accountable. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt a click and things are changing. This program was just top notch. Seriously, like this is a masterpiece. This is, this is perfect. Everything, the way it's set up, the live calls, like all the support from the coaches is incredible. It's, it's been nuts. I just had my tears of joy. This was the best decisions I ever made. Thank you for creating something wonderful like this. This program was phenomenal. This program was, uh, was amazing. This program has definitely changed my life. I know for a fact I'm in the right place. This is exactly what I was expecting from the program. It's been uh, spectacular. I feel really lucky to, to have found you. Thank you so much, Julian. It's, uh, it's worth every dollar.